Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hello there. Welcome back. Hey there, guys. So we did this video this morning on Hearts Home, and it's so fascinating whenever we upload anything that has any sort of channeling in it. And this was just Cindy running her tuning forks, putting positive uh, frequencies into the video with me playing ambient guitar. It took like, I don't even know if it's cleared restrictions yet. There should be like no reason for YouTube to take hours to go through ambient guitar music and decide whether or not it needs to be censored. But it shows you just how dark this AI control system is. They don't want anything that's of a higher frequency out there at all. No, I mean, it's the AI. The AI senses information in there it does not understand the information that's in there so it's like okay wait we got to check and double check and check and double check there's got to be a reason to push this back this was a very nice video because a lot of times when mike is doing his guitar i mean it'll just put me out like drop me to sleep and this is one of those times <clears throat> i was doing the tuning forks i was so relaxed by the time we were done and you know, even though it's only 18 minutes, I'll tell you what, you are going to be so relaxed. Well, the idea is you hit it on loop. Yep. So, put you know, loop. then you put it on loop and you let it just put you to sleep. Mm -hmm. um, at the same time, it's at 432 hertz instead of the Rockefeller 440. So it is naturally peaceful. It's going to help you fall asleep and it's also going to raise your frequency. It will absolutely is going to raise you up in frequency and put you in a better place, put you in a happier place. And, you know, I can't tell you enough. I mean, he channels, too, when he's playing the guitar. It's like the energy that he has in his body goes out through that guitar. So to me, this music is not just music, not at all. It's it's really has a lot of really good information in there to help the human body and help the help the mind. Please do subscribe to Heart's Home if you guys haven't subscribed yet, as there's different playlists over there. If you are a Patreon, everything goes up on Patreon, and we couldn't do it without you guys' support. So Argentina is is just having a very, very hard time right now. So is the world in general, and at the same time, there's this uh, the two forces that are just ramming heads. And I don't mean you know different countries, although obviously BRICS and NATO. It's really the control system striving to keep people under control, and it's inevitable that they're not going to be able to. And here you have Argentina sinking into total chaos. Argentine President Javier Milo orders the police to be relentless. Riots are spreading like wildfire across the country. Yeah, they were overturning cars and you know setting things on fire. And a lot of this has to do with the economic situation. Well... You know, again, the economic, the big, big, big economic collapse that everybody has been talking about forever, that will coincide with uh, WW3. So they're going to go hand in hand. And, you know, the writing is on the wall. As you see, Russia publishes footage of its warships, nuclear power submarines arriving in Cuba. So Russia publishes this. Uh, there's already been photos like we shared uh, from people that are in Cuba that have seen them, taken note of them. There's so much going on. This time is different. This time is very, very different. Here you have a chant going on where they're demanding, at least this group is trying to rile up the Russian citizens to strike D.C., to strike uh, the United States, target D.C. Yars, Sama, you know, they're talking about different missiles. On Washington, on Washington. Now, this could be just completely uh, a, and I'm sure it is, <laughs> a political stunt to rile up the people. Again, people are waking up, waking up. So they're waking up to realize the fact that, you know, all this is just manipulations by the one system that pits us constantly against each other. What did the big communist revolution in Russia really accomplish? It took out 
tens of millions of people is what it did. It, it, it was horrible. And you went from the czars, you know, and czar, Caesar, Caesars. Yeah, that's really where the word's root origin comes from. You just trade one form of tyranny for another. It, it's time to shift out of all forms of tyranny. And yeah, they are, you know, drumming it up. And if you listen to the actual words of Russia's number two, Medvedev, who was the president, um, the only other person besides Putin in like 30 years to have power over in Russia. If you listen clear, carefully to his words, this is different. Uh, this is signaling that it is go time. He, this is what the article says, is from Russia Today. Moscow should use every opportunity to inflict maximum damage on Western nations that have declared a war without rules, a war without rules, on Russia. Former President Dmitry Medvedev has argued every weakness of the U.S. and its allies should be exploited to undermine them and obstruct life for their citizens. The Russian official said on Thursday, reacting to the latest round of sanctions announced by Washington earlier this week. Again, it's the citizens that always pay. You know, when there's shortages, when there's rationing, when there's drafts, it's not going to be Medvedev and, and Putin at the front line. No, of course not. And they're, they're not going to ever go hungry. It, uh, well, maybe after the system collapses. After... Oh, I'm sorry. Are they afraid that we should transfer our arms to the enemies of the Western world? We should send every kind of weapon except nuclear for now, Medvedev wrote on social media. Are they afraid of anarchy and crime waves in large cities? Now that's a clue too, because already we have sleepers everywhere. We have immigrant migrants in the tens of millions everywhere of which there is a portion that has been put there for that p particular you know, plan. Create chaos from within. Sleeper cells. Russia could trigger a war in space. Wage a psychological warfare campaign against the Western citizens so that they tremble under their blankets in their cozy homes and unleash a tsunami of fake news to turn their life into a never-ending nightmare in which they cannot distinguish reality from wildest fiction. That's been going on for decades, too, as we know. So much has been about the louche, and sometimes it lulls us to sleep, and then all of a sudden you're actually hit with something serious right in front of your face. The problem is that in the U.S., we haven't had war on our soil, really, since the Civil War. So it's not something that, that we have been used to. Many, many nations have. You know, if you grew up in Syria, Afghanistan, Iraq, yeah, you grew up with this. Many other nations, too, that we don't hear about every day. Many nations in Africa. Moscow should obliterate their energy infrastructure, industry, transport, banking, and social services and still fear over an imminent collapse of all critical infrastructure, according to Medvedev who currently ser serves as the deputy chair of the Russian Security Council. The latest round of American restrictions against Russian entities targets energy, metals, and mining, as well as the financial sector. Among other things, it's forced the Moscow Stock Exchange to suspend all trade in the dollar and in the euro. Now, so you know, we had that announced that they weren't going to trade anymore uh, and by the way, you know, Saudi Arabia has not re-upped the petrodollar. So, you know, huge change underway. Here they are saying the U.S. has forced us to do this. And then, of course, in the U.S., they'll be saying Russia forced. And the, the reality is they're all puppets on strings. The, the program is one of ever ongoing, um, let's say, pop decrease as well as total control, and also louche, pain, suffering, that certain entities that you might not be able to see with your visible eyes, or you may be able to see if you have the ability to with your third eye, uh, actually feed off of. So a campaign of maximum damage hmm, on every level against basically us. Mm -hmm. Right, you know, this is just uh, a matter of who who are the controllers telling who to queue up? You know, it's like, oh, this it's your turn to speak and make sure you say this. 
it's your turn to speak and make sure you say that <laughs> it's your turn to speak make sure you say this this is this is also very very scripted and what's our part in it our part in it is to try to raise our own frequency up above it be ready for it and get out of the situation that holds us down so we have work to do it is important to understand what's going on around us it's also important to have a spiritual practice because you know doing what they're talking about to me it just sounds like it, they're already doing these things it's just really turning the heat up to a very high degree and uh, making things very noticeable even for for the masses because right now most people are still pretty oblivious and just going to work and coming home going to work coming home and you know they only have time to do the regular grind you know which really is horrible and sad because they don't have any time to live they're they're too busy making money for the controllers or making energy for the controllers for that matter um but you know i think they are saying let's turn it up to the point where the masses will feel it and here you see uh, Chinese yuan is the most traded foreign currency on Russia's Moscow stock exchanges after halting all U.S. dollar and euro transactions. Then we see the Russian stock market. This is saying it's collapsing, as you can see, taking a dip. Yeah, you're going through a period of massive change, massive, massive change. And right now you have a lie, you know, it's it's almost like a, a third of the world is on one side, thirds on the other, and the third is kind of in the middle. Um, but the reality is, again, it's all the control system doing what it does. Uh, as you see, Moscow Exchange is preventing clients from logging in. Hmm, big ones. Ross Bank, Gazprom Bank, Moscow Exchange trying to avoid a bank run. Uh, we'll see the same thing running over here and maybe not in the far too distant future. You know, the websites are down here. Uh, yeah, this this is scary. If, if you are not prepared, if you don't have resources on hand, if you're not stocked up and you're just living week to week and you think things are going to be normal and all of a sudden you, you can't get anything. Well, we're out of this. We're out of that. I need my money. Yeah, this is what we've been saying because what's happening over there right now, limiting transactions, you know, th that could happen Monday here. I mean, literally. Or it might wait till September, October. It's going to depend on how things uh, break down. And you have the EU imposing uh, 1 million fine per day, 1 million pound fine or euro fine per day on Hungary because they refuse to open their borders and require people to seek asylum from outside the country. Yeah, and also, you know, they refuse to be caught up and, and pulled into the war. So this is all part of um, the breakdown that we were talking about. Obviously, you know, if, if we're in the U.S. and they're talking about, you know, people in the streets demanding missile strikes on DC um, yeah you might not want to be in DC if you could avoid it uh, but I wouldn't have been there in the first place I understand some some people you know um, you know it's you, you're not going to get them to change their minds on, on what they're doing and and that's okay we each have our own purpose and we we each come here for different reasons and and not everybody is necessarily trying to live to a, a grand old age as you know there's many ways of uh, sabotaging ourselves including obviously going down the route of what the system wants us to do uh, but at the same time the higher self does have goals in mind and it could be that you know some people are going to be shields of sort to try to help others in, in places that are going to be very, very trying. Um, I just got a question. Why in the world would you make books this big? Why would you make them this big? Uh, and this is, you know, this particular, <laughs> as you can see, these from these are from all over the world. All over the world. What's the purpose of making a book this big? I mean, you know, I, I, yeah, I, I would appreciate being able to see everything nice and clear. You certainly wouldn't need any cheater glasses. 
But still, it, it's, it's a telltale sign of a very, very hidden past. Our past is so hidden. Mm-hmm. It is, you know, and I was trying to make up reasons for it. Like, why would they? <coughs> why would they make the books like that? <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Sorry, hold on here. Okay. <coughs> and then we have this shape-shifting UFO bo- boggling minds. And appears to take on angelic forms, causes controversy online. Well, you know, Disclosure's been here. And really, you don't have to listen to the media. You could just, again, go and listen to the stories from the different tribal people all over the entire globe, every different continent. You'll hear the same stories echoed. And time after time after time, whether we are talking about Africa, I was reading last night, about shamanistic practices of a tribe in Africa and another group over in South America that almost verbatim, even though they're speaking different languages, goes along with one, uh, again, from Arizona. Well, we had a global civilization. This was a global civilization. And why did the WEF, yes, of all people, the WEF, why are they burying back Gobekli Tepe? Because it's far more ancient than, than what we're told. It goes back to before the Younger Dryas event, before that cataclysm, before the dark control system was totally in place. And it was a place where benevolent ETs would come down and interact with humans. And, you know, again, benevolent ETs were coming and going, and that was just the norm. That's what we were always used to in every other age but the Kali Yuga. So here you see, uh, all over the media now, this is coming out. And yeah, on that particular one Cindy was picking up, it's definitely technology that's afoot. But there's so many other things, you know, as uh, this statement. This is what managed disclosure looks like, in case you haven't noticed. You have hidden UFO civilization, could be on Earth, so says Harvard researchers. Aliens that may already live on Earth, yeah, secret UFO civilization. There's been, and so many people coming out of the woodwork, government officials, uh, you know, ex-CIA, FBI, they're all coming out of the woodwork and, and telling us, but we don't need to listen to any of them. We could just go listen to some of the tribal elders and they'll tell you clearly. Mm-hmm. They will, they will, they will, they will. You know, I'm sorry about that. Going back to the books, I was I was trying to think, okay, why would they make them so big? And the best thing I could come up with is they're, the, the printers, maybe the printers had to be so big, so they were forced to make these huge, gigantic books because they didn't know how to make smaller print. I don't know, and, and uh, make it so that it would, like, print on paper. So I, I don't know. You know, it's, it's, it's weird. It's definitely weird. And uh, then with the alien thing, you know, where they're showing the projection in the sky. So I, that one I did channel. I asked for information and to come from externally because I wasn't understanding. I'm like looking at it and I don't think it's, it's a being. And I, I am asking, what is this? And the answer that I got back, I still can't explain, but... It is like a mass hallucination at the same time it can be put on our screens. So this is like a, a bigger deal than we think. It's not just one entity showing itself. It's, it's, it's a testing of an alien technology of a size that we are not able to obviously explain. I, I'm sorry, that's the information that came. Well, <clears throat> do you realize what you just said? No. Uh, no no <clears throat> oh yes 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 okay so um this this is required watching if you're one of our subscribers um this is something that i think would help a lot of people understand it um this movie that we watched three body problem um yeah this this kind of lends a little light on how this could actually happen which is appreciated you know because when i when i have information and i reach out and i ask for information and i get answers from them 
I, I don't always have the explanations and sometimes people get very angry. They just really get angry, but that's a normal human reaction because we need to understand things the way we have been taught and because that feels safe. Boy, it looks like they don't want this being out there now, doesn't it? The three body problem Netflix show, you know, because what it is, is, is they're able to put a mass hallucination out there in people's minds. And they also say, uh, as you see people looking up at the sky and the sky is just one big hologram. And you know what it is, it, and it really is. It's always been a hologram. You haven't seen the real, real sky unless you're able to see it. Um, through your third eye, you haven't been able to see the real sky your entire life. So yeah, they put it out there with Netflix, and and I could just say, look at it by searching. They they don't want this out there now. It's interesting. They program our subconsciousness, and then now they. So you can see over here, this starts coming through. You are bugs. Eat the bugs. You are what you eat. Yeah, exactly. It's all being exposed, guys. All being exposed. Thanks for being part of the family. As always, make sure you subscribe to all three channels um, or join us on Patreon. Again, as always, much love, source bless. Namaste. Namaste.